Grand Rising Beloveds, how are you guys doing this lovely, lovely evening? I'm doing great. So good to be with you guys again. I know it's been a few days. <laughs> I've been hella busy. <laughs> and in between getting rest, my rest is my priority. Uh, taking care of self is my priority. And at the same time, I am still fulfilling my purpose to serve and to assist my people in our elevation to freedom. I won't ever stop doing that as long as I'm here. I'm going to continue to do what I am purposed to do. But I do have to take care of myself as well. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I talk about it all the time, guys, and I... I think I put out a couple of posts. I did some posts in reference to um, choosing ourselves. Yeah, choose me. I did one topic and saying we have to take care of ourselves. And so that is a must because without us, if we're not in peace and uh, in great health, then how can we assist anyone else? won't be possible so take care of yourself guys these are some very trying times right now and so our challenge first is to stay healthy mentally and physically so that we can continue to thrive on this planet so i wanted to come on and first of all say hello and welcome to my new subscribers welcome 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 i'm so glad you're here Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to Leila Awake's YouTube channel. Uh, I don't take it lightly. Very appreciative. So thank you again. I'm happy you're here. And the next thing I want to say before I jump right into the message is please like and share the video. Because when you like and share, more beings can see the video. And there's always someone else out there that needs what we have. So do that for me, guys. Like and share the video. I appreciate you so, so, so very much for that. So what I wanted to talk about um, this evening, there is so much going on, guys. Ooh, and the thing about it is that we do not become infused with it. That we do not see it i don't care how bad it sounds we do not see it and take it in as doom and gloom we cannot afford to do that we've got to remember that we are creators and whatever we put in our minds to know is true is what is going to be we've already won the battle we are just getting to the finish line still we won the battle so we are winners here. So that's the way we have to look at it. We have to, to know that that is true and that that is real and not allow any negativity, any negative thoughts, uh, you know, anything come in and take us off track. Uh, we just have to be able to do that. But as far as in real time, um, there's a lot taking place right now. And it's so many things that I, I'm going to have to split it up in different uh, videos. It's just too much to talk about right now. And But the one thing I want to kind of focus on in this message is the fact that uh, I, I want to tell you too that all information, all information that I'm putting out is for informational purpose. It's uh, not um, to be taken all as facts I research um, I get information from a lot of places but I always tell people to go and do your own research because whatever I find you can find it as well so go out and get your um, do your own research and confirm and get this information so I know you've been hearing a lot of different things that's happened the last couple of days uh, a couple of things has happened that just, I'm like, it's so clear, guys. It's so obvious 
what is taking place on this planet. Many people are still waking up on a daily basis. People are opening their eyes, their eye, this eye, every day. Somebody opens this eye. But there are people still that are programmed, so programmed where they will reject critical information from valid sources uh, to keep people from getting what they need in these critical times. People, they all have been really conditioned to not, many have been really conditioned to not see. And, and, and the reason is because the evils knew that this time was coming, this critical, most critical time was coming and they needed as many people that they can keep asleep as possible. So that's what all the division is about. That's what all of the, you know, everybody, you know, the division with the race and the politics and uh, religion, especially, you know, um, the, they are still continuing to try to control minds and thoughts. But those of us who are at a frequency above that, we know for sure what we are doing we know what we're doing and we know we have to continue so that we can stay in that level of frequency that level of uh, you know this high place um understand that the fall of america is here it is here guys this is it this is what we've been talking about for many many years it's what um what's his name muhammad uh, what I'm trying to think of his name. He wrote a book, The Fall of America. This is what he was talking about, that this, this regime was going to come tumbling down, and it is here. All of the evil that she has done to the original people, the aboriginals, all of that evil, she has to, karma has come, so she has to pay for that. Uh, the chicken has come home to roost. America is also stolen land. This is the land of the aboriginals, including myself. This was our land. It's our land. And they stole it. So America has so much to pay for, guys. And we're in a time of reaping and, reaping and sowing. This, it's here. The karma is here. And so it appears that... Uh, the time is now that she shall pay. Um, other nations are giving America that work. Right now as we speak, other nations, uh, you got the BRIC, Brazil, Russia, China, India, I, I understand Australia, and several more as time go on, I understand is going to join forces in separating from America and her money. A destabilization, destabilization move is what's taking place. So you got all these countries have already separated. I think Australia is in the process of um, deciding to join the others, but several more countries are also in the process of joining the BRIC and separating from America and her money which is declining. The, the dollar is going down. And, and it appears that everything is moving pretty fast. So guys, you know you can't just sit still. There is work to be done so that you can be prepared and put yourself in a, in a place where you can continue to thrive, you know, in what's, in what's happening right now. There is a race that's taking place. We're in a race. A race and the race where the evils are trying to beat the highest level of awakened souls. So it appears that the evils are trying to outrun the awakening. They're trying to put things in place to be ahead of the level of awakening souls that are popping up every day. So they're in a race against time. And it appears that they are really moving faster. It's moving. The race is moving faster. As they see that, they underestimated this awakening. And people are waking up faster than I think they thought that they would. And so they are moving things faster. The, the, the plans that they had, they are escalating 
those plans. But they'll never win because destiny is going to be. Um, it happens, it appears they're dealing with anyone that also chooses to get in their way. Anybody that's in their way of their plan, it appears that they are um, dealing with them. Let me show you this little short video, a couple of little short reels, and then we'll talk about it. It is just phenomenal, the evil that is taking place right now. Let me show you this one, please. The masses are trained to think or to believe that... Okay, hold on, guys. some disturbing news bro and i ain't going I look we just got out of 400 years of slavery so you mean to tell me 25 dollars a month right and then 45 cents per transaction not letting alone the air rafts gonna charge you a three dollar minimum fee the bank teller's gonna charge you fees to even call to pay your phone bill somebody gonna charge you Boy, by the time you get through with your paycheck, your whole paycheck is in fees. Talk about some CBC digital dollars that's not even real? That the first, not bad by nothing but slavery? Come on now, look. Where you so-called white people's at that, that, that so-called fight for freedom? You need to put your little racist stuff aside and fight for your freedom. And your little church peoples, you need to stop going to church and praying your way out of bullshit. You, you can't pray your way out of stuff. Okay, we've been so <laughs> the message I wanted to show you first would not play. That one is that that's the second one. Um, and that one is uh referencing, let me see, right, uh, the fat not service. So I'm sure you guys heard about Cash App founder. Bob Lee, who was stabbed to death in San Francisco the other day. I'm trying to get this short here. Let's see if it'll work this time. They always, when we really want them to work. <laughs> Realist people are going to make you feel uncomfortable. You've heard of the 42 laws of my ad, but have you heard okay, of you the nine... I have to now I, I had it going and then it popped to another message. Let's try one more time. Realist people are gonna make you feel uncomfortable at first, you know, and the most fake people there. Okay, so it's not going to act, it started out, but it's not going to do what I needed to do. So, so let's just talk about what's happening right now. So, again, Cash App founder Bob Lee, 43-year-old, was stabbed to death in San Francisco the other day. At the same time, the government is launching their own Cash App called FedNow App. So... When I heard about this young man being stabbed to death, the cash, cash App creator and owner, immediately my mind started twirling. I started thinking. Then the next day, the very next day, I heard that the government was launching their own Cash App. Now, any of you that have kept up uh, or are aware that there was something going on a few years ago because I heard about um, that they were trying to tax money that transfers through Cash App. The, the government was trying to tax that money, trying to get some of it. You know, anytime money changes hands, they want some of it. <sighs> this evil. And my understanding, I, I'm not positive but these are the rumors that were going on is that you know 
this young brother wasn't charged. You you, you charge a fee. You could you could you could get the money and then at the moment that it's transferred and you get it for a small fee, or you can just wait a day or so and then there is no fee. And so many people wait would wait because I I would always wait. You know, was never in a hurry to that I would pay a fee just to get it when I could just wait just a few hours longer. So, but I understand that the government were trying to get their hands on it, and I'm not so sure exactly what the result was, but I understand that, you know, he was not, he didn't set it up in a way to where the government could get any pay. So, all of a sudden, this young man was murdered. Um, you have to read between the lines, you have to peep around the veil, you have to really pay attention and, and use your common sense and critical thought. And then all of a sudden, they've created their own cash app. So, it's become more and more obvious every day. And I mean, it's moving like a freight train. It's more and more obvious of what's happening on this planet. And what this system is doing or trying to do. Uh, and don't forget about all of the crypto billionaires that have been murdered most recently. Several of them. So they are trying their very best to launch this next phase of enslavement. And so I'm just wondering... How long it's gonna take? I can't. I, I can't believe that it's gonna be any too much longer for things to um, jump off. It's coming because I one thing I know it, it's not gonna be us to set it off, but they about to set it off. It's coming. I know it's coming, and so we gotta prepare. We got to get ready because it's going to be going down. Because one thing I can tell you about white folk. They, there's so much I can say, but I'll just be nice and say this. They're not afraid to stand up. They're not. And they will be the ones to lead the charge. So it's becoming more and more apparent to people all over what is happening on this planet and who's behind it more and more apparent it is so 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 very obvious what is happening on this planet at the same time you know uh the dollar is is dwindling the dollar is i've even heard some um what's his name uh kiyosaki kiyosaki um mentioned that the dollar he called it toilet paper he said it's, it was trash, you know, said that the dollar is no good, you know. And I anticipate by July some of that reality to really hit. So that, that says one thing. We need to be making some, some changes. We need to be um, making some big decisions and, you know, uh, making some moves, some, some hard moves um, so that we can be you know, in a place to where we can be okay with with these big changes. A lot of people don't just don't believe that things are about to come down. Uh, I had a young brother tell me today, he said, well, they've been, a lot of this stuff that they're saying, they've been saying for years. And I said, oh, but brother, this time is different. This is, this time is different. We've never been on this planet to experience the age of Aquarius. That only happened every 3,000 and so hard years. We've never experienced that. We have, this, this, is, this is different. And if you just pay attention, things are already happening in align with what we've been hearing about for years. Uh, it's happening. So, you know, there's stages. So we have to come to terms with, you know, what is here and not, you know, and not fail to believe that, 
what is coming is, is you know, is not coming. It's here. It's already here. It's already happening. And so, uh, people, I know a lot of people are praying, you know, and, but you know, the, 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 I think it's the scripture in the Bible that says that faith without works is dead. You know, you have to get up and do some things. Sometimes you have to get up and, and do some work. And so I'm just saying, you know, make moves that are going to keep you, you know, um, in a stable place. Um, I'm not so sure people that have not retired yet. Those are the people that I have still have a little bit of concern. And I know uh, the creator, the most high, the universe it's going to take care of us all, uh, but I think about uh, those that are still, you know, have not yet retired, that are approaching retirement, and uh, we just gotta, we we gotta, we gotta put our thinking caps on, guys, and and uh, figure some things out, and and allow our guides to help us, allow our ancestors to to help guide us and. Uh, in making these these choices um, in these trying times because they are here. And, you know, um, I, I always say, you know, do not um, fall into doom and gloom. But at the same time, be realistic about things. And um, you got some people who believe in not believing that things are going to happen and just moving in that space of, you know, if you don't believe it, it won't happen. Then you got and now some very strong beings that, that, that view it that way. Then over here, you got a group of beings that believe that, you know, reality is reality and it is foolish to not make some decisions. And I've heard them say, okay, well, if, if you believe that you should just sit and be idle and do nothing, then quit your job, you know, quit, you know, quit all the things that you're doing on a daily basis and just sit, you know, so you got two different groups believing things, you know, are going to go, you know, this way or that way. So I say go within and get your answers, guys, and move in the way that the universe tells you to move because nobody can tell anybody uh, for sure to do things that, you know, as they're doing it because everybody's different, you know, and there's no necessarily right or wrong way. It's really not. And that's why our people got to learn to get along. Uh, the neuromelanated has to learn at some point to get along and be respectful to other people because they choose to move in a way that's opposite of the way you decide to move. And that's the thing, you know, I don't know if, I'm not sure if it's just the, the ego, us, you know, allowing the ego to get ahead of us sometimes, or if it's, you, you know, we just, I don't know, if we just think that what we, what we say is the gospel about everything, and that's just not true, because nobody holds all the answers, and everybody has their own answers inside of them, and so we have to learn how to to respect each other and each other's mind in the way that we choose to move and still be able to communicate and love on each other. That's something we still have not yet learned how to do. And it's, and it's, it's very sad, but we're going to have to learn to do that at some point. And I believe that the things that are here today is setting us up so we can get that. We can heal and understand that we got, we're going to have to learn how to work together. And stop being so agitated and so easy to cast each other out um, because we disagree. You know, and I know people, many of our people are doing that, you know, because I have been even guilty of it myself. And so we got to learn how to work together. And that's a combined effort. You know, I, I shouldn't have to work on it by myself, you know. You should be working on it as well and all of the rest of us, you know, so we should be back. I can remember in the 70s when it was so much different in the way we moved together than it is the way we do it today. So we still got much, much work to do. But, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. And the one thing, too, before I sign out, I want to tell you guys 
women, especially my sisters, my beautiful soul sisters, I want you guys to get this book. Get this book. Um, the Wounded Womb by Phil, Philip Valentine. This book, I think every woman needs to own this book. Let me uh, give you just a little bit. Um, uh, the Wounded Womb, part one and two, is the fourth in a series of seven works in progress titled The Regenesis Chronicles. This is a, a treatise dedicated to exposing the hidden truth behind the ongoing epidemic of women's diseases presented from spiritual, metaphysical, metahistoric, scientific, and empirical perspectives seldom articulated by contemporary New Age authors. This book, guys, is absolutely amazing. The suppressed truths behind the anatomy, the metaphysics, politics, and economics of women's diseases guys this this and it's not it, it's it's an ex, it's an expensive book but it's worth every dime and i don't think it's so bad expensive but it's not cheap but get this book guys do some research on it look it up look at the reviews in the forward and um if you are a woman and you look like me i think you need to get this book you'll be blessed so I just wanted to share that with you, and I did do I do a book of the day every day, so guys keep checking checking out those books as I put them out there. I have an amazing library over here, and I just want to share because what prompted me to start my library is different teachers sharing their library, and I would see the books, and it just got me all hyped and excited, and so. I am learning so much every day, guys. I'm reading and getting all this information. All that I don't get from within, I get it out of these books. And I am really, truly being blessed. So I challenge you guys to, to get you a library going and to definitely get that book. And you, I promise you, you will be blessed. I want to shout out Willie Rivers, my... I have a couple of subscribers that I just adore so much and Willie Rivers I tell you he keeps me uh on top of this information <laughs> brother I appreciate you so much I shout you out because I love you my brother and I appreciate all that you do with you know what you're sending me and trust me trust me I read what you send and I I I, I appreciate it I just appreciate it so very much so thank you my brother once again and keep sending it sending this information because it is really 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 appreciated so i'm gonna get ready to sign out guys and um and i got a couple more things to do i always say before the night is done so appreciate you so much for coming on i appreciate those who stay to the end i really 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 do uh, I don't take that light because there's so many things that we all are so busy and so much you can be doing. But instead, you're right here with me. I appreciate you so much for that. So I haven't told y'all I love you in a while. I love you guys to life. You're my peeps. You're family. Always and forever. I want to sign out and say assalamu alaikum to you. Shalom. Namaste. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Peace be unto you guys. Keep your head up. Get some sun and hug somebody. Always. There's always somebody out there that needs a hug. Again, I love you guys. And I'm going to sign out and say protect yourself, prepare yourself, and stay in peace. And until next time, I'm going to say bye-bye guys.